Welcome to my office. This is my house. Started from the bottom. Now I'm here. My name is Amara La Negra, and I am proud to say that I am Afro Latina. What does it mean to be Afro Latina? It just means that I come from African descent. As you can see, I am black, but culturally, I am Latina. I am Dominican. My parents are from the Caribbean. I grew up listening to Latin music, only speaking Spanish. Then in school, I learned English. It was funny to me to know that people didn't know that there was such a thing as black people who spoke Spanish. Growing up Dominican, it was very loud in my house. A lot of music, merengue, bachata, perico, ripiao, and all of that. <gasps> in our culture, we love platanos. Platanos is life. Then we also have the rice and beans and the chicken. We stick to that, because you know that's basic. What makes the Afro-Latino community uh, unique? We originated the rhythm, the sound, the food, the dances. We naturally were the ones who brought it off. I used to be in a girl group called Amara. So the group fell apart. I remained as Amara. A lot of people couldn't remember my name, so they would be like, what is a black girl's name? Como se llama La Negrita? What's La Negrita's name? And then La Negra just stuck and it stayed. And it was also my way of uplifting my people, of being proud, of being Afro-Latina, of being Negra. I love life and the most important thing is that I want to know that my life meant something. Everything that I do, I do it big and I'm very passionate. When I was four years old, I started working in this major Latin network and I was the only dark skinned girl in the whole group. The TV show was on air for like 50 years or so and they never had anyone my complexion. So I always felt like a bug in the middle of a glass of milk and I always looked around and I was like, why doesn't anybody look like me? I went to this event and this little girl comes up to me. She might have been like maybe six years old or something and she comes with her mom. And as soon as she saw me, she ran to me and then she just hugged me so tight and she started crying. And she was like, I always thought that I was ugly and they bully me in school because I'm dark, because I'm black and you make me feel pretty. I wanna be like you. That little girl doesn't even know how she impacted my life just with, with that moment that we shared together. To know that I've been able to inspire other girls to love themselves, to embrace their curves, to embrace who they are, really makes me proud, really makes me feel like I've done something good. The day that I finally stopped trying to be like the next person was the day that I learned how to love myself and thanks to that, I'm a Marla Negra now.